So we're literally one week away from Seven's World Rush to come to Duel Links and we finally have some more concrete news on how the game's gonna work and some new leaks and things. I'm gonna go through all of it today and it's a little bit all over the place, right? There's some good, there's some bad, there's some baffling. We'll talk about it all, we'll show some images, we'll go in detail, so uh, stay tuned. Let's dive right in. So let's start with the big thing, right? Our Seven's characters. We're getting Yuga and Luke and there's a few other IDs that aren't like confirmed. There's also five NPCs, which is pretty cool. But the big thing here is that we've got two characters and this is kind of lining up with what we had before, right? With gay drops, we had a bunch of cards leaked for two characters that are the same that are pretty much Yuga and Luke. So does this mean we're only getting Yuga and Luke on day one? Probably not, given we also know that we've got animation IDs, right? For Roman's Ace and for Gavin's, we also have skills for Mimi as well. Now we have seen in previous years, right? For like Zexo, I believe it was, we had the first five or six character skills confirmed via IDs. And so it could be the same thing, but I think for a brand new world, launching with two characters is not going to really cut it, unless it's like we get a character next month, then November, and then December, and they kind of have this really high speed pace of unlocking characters. That could be cool, but I think you need more than this on day one, and I assume we'll get that. Next, there's some Rushdoor card types, which is like normal, right? Cyborg, Paladin, High Dragon, Sky Soldier, Mega Psychic Galaxy. These are existing in Rushdoor anyway. That's not really news. The news here is two things, right? First of all, there's a new gacha effect for the Sevens Road stuff. So if we go to here, you can see we've got Kaizo Yugaza, Yugaza's little robot friend, who is going to be the new Millennium Hieroglyphs in the background, right? And when you open a pack, instead of Kribo, you're going to get Kribot coming in, which is pretty straightforward. Anyone could kind of see that coming from a mile away. It's a cool little touch, but that's about it. Now, sticking on the theme of the shop, what is happening with the boxes? Well, it does seem like we're going to be getting a separate box of Rush and Structure Deck, which does make sense, right? I've said it for a while now. It's got to happen. If they mix them, the game is completely fucked. <laughs> you know, no no real getting around it. The game would be fucked. You could also apparently set favorites for packs, which is pretty cool. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but I guess if you want to make sure you know what you're going back into, then that does kind of make sense. But this also then brings the question, what is happening with the currency in Rushdoor, right? And right now, there is no currency mentioned at all in the game code, in the assets, nothing. At the moment, assume it's going to be gems and that's kind of it. Is that what you want here? No, I don't think it is, but I think it's the most likely scenario and could they, could they of course add a currency in? Yes, they could, but in the code where the currency is stored for gold and gems and for the, uh, the booster items, right, where a new currency would be, there is nothing. And so I think it's really, really unlikely they do anything unless the shop system is changing so drastically but again, code doesn't hint towards that, so it's a bit up in the air. But for now, just assume it's going to be gems until next weekend when we have the live stream right for Seven's World reveal. Hopefully, they'll confirm it then, but I really think you're going to get a screenshot, you'll have gems in the corner, and you're going to be, you know, complaining or not complaining, whatever. Now, the big thing is Rush is changing how it works. And so in, in Duel Links, you're going to have 6,000 life points rather than for 8,000, right? That is the only change there's going to be to Rush in Duel Links. Aside from the deck size, it's going to be 30 to 40 cards, not 40 to 60, which is also a very, very big change. Now, this does mean that Rush become Rush and Dawlings at least becomes more of its own format than you know original Rush did in the OC right. It does mean they can technically release cards in the same manner, right? And it would be a different format completely because deck building is very different at 30 cards than 40 cards, especially in Rush, especially recursion, and it does make things like maximum. A little bit better given you'll be seeing the cards you want to draw into more often, which is really, really cool. But at the same time, I know some people, myself included, are going to be disappointed at the fact it's not just straight rush door and skills already were a hint that yes, it's going to be changing, but I thought the core, the core mechanics will stay the same, but it's not. And so it's going to be interesting to see how that does kind of play out, if it's a good thing. Could this mean they might put rush door in Marstall, right? You know, having the speed format of Rushdoor in Door Links, and then the full Rushdoor format in Marstall in like a year's time, that could be pretty cool. You know, having two different ways to play Rushdoor, like I've kind of got two different ways to play TCG, is, it's a cool thought to kind of have, right? And of course, there is Turbo Door and Tactical Support for Rushdoor, that is par for the course. And speaking of that, we've got a few more skills, right? So, this one, skill 24, is going to be for Luke, pretty much, and your only real targets are going to be your Policing Dragon Bunker Strike, and your Dragonic Slayer, which can pop a backer on the field, which I think is a pretty solid effect, at least for early rush, if we're going to be getting it any time soon, right? So that's cool. 
there's some tactile skills, including one for Yuga for Seven's Road, which does mean that, yes, the events will most likely be shared. And that, again, comes back to the whole gem economy thing, right? Would they put two separate currencies in one event? I don't think so. It'd get kind of confusing, right? If you're putting in the gacha lottery, right? And you're suddenly getting a rush currency and a speed currency, but you really play speed, so you want to play get the speed currency, but you're not getting it. It just would feel a bit weird, right? And so I really think this more than anything, right, is a big indication that, yes, the currencies are shared, the events will be shared, right? And so if you want to get the most currency in Duel Links, you've got to play both of the speed all events and the rush all events. It'll be interesting to see if they do increase the currency rights, if they do think, you know, maybe there'll be some players that don't want to play Rush Duel. We'll just buff the gems a little bit, right? That could happen still, but at the same time, it could not. And it could really mean that if you do want to play Duel Links at the same rate you are now, you are going to have to invest a little bit into Rush Duel to make a good deck. But again, we'll find out on Sunday if that really is happening or not. And then there's a few assets, right, for the, uh, the coin flip. There's some monster icons, and that's really about it. But there's one more big thing, and it's this thing up here, right? It is this thing here. Archive skills. Now, we talked about this a little bit ago, right? Over here. We had Category Legend and Category Archive. And now, in today's update, they added a sort functionality for Archive skills and Legend skills. And so, does that mean that these Archive skills might be skills that are shared between Rush and Speed? What do Legend skills mean? Are they something new we're getting via the new old campaign? It's uh, it's interesting to think about what this could mean. This, this could be one of the biggest changes we have for Duel Links, right? And we just don't know it yet. You know, uh... <laughs> Or maybe archive skills could be something like skills they're going to just like completely get rid of from the game. You know, that, that could be a thing as well, right? Instead of eruttering skills, they're just going to kind of put these in archive and say, no, you can't play them in PvP, but you can play them in, you know, PvE. Who knows, right? We just don't know what they are, right? That's just me kind of speculating. But uh, yeah, again, a bit of a mixed bag, right? I'm excited for Rush Duel. We've got the stream coming on Sunday. So again, all this information hopefully will be revealed by then. We'll get our first look at the brand new main box, some structure text potentially. Hopefully they leak the entire thing like they did last year, or hopefully not actually, because I would like to go into a world kind of like DSD world, right? When we all kind of went in blind, aside from the structure deck, right? And on that day we got Invoker, we got uh, the gadgets, right? And it was kind of exciting. And this is the same, right? We still don't know what they're doing with Cordial's content, right? If you look at the skill leaks, right? This doesn't say anything really about getting new cards, right? It, of course you got Samurai Power Phoenix, which is new, but that's for an NPC event card. And so that doesn't really mean anything. So we'll have to wait and see what they're doing for the brand new world, of course, selection boxes, all that kind of thing. It's it's an exciting week. One week to go pretty much until Rush Duel comes to Duel Links. I'm excited. And these leaks do make me feel a little bit in both directions, right? Of being more excited and less excited. But again, we'll find out what's happening next week. So, uh, so yeah, let me force down below. I'll see you on the next Duel Links video. See you then.